Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? An Australian arrested for double murder in the Philippines. Lao discontinues visa on arrival services. Again in Lao, Lao police deport 137 scammers of Chinese origin. Thai nationals dead from drinking at moonshine. They put uh, toad blood in it. The continuing saga of the Thai Airways dilemma. But first up from Penang, Malaysia, we have 25 Thai women arrested for displaying themselves on stage. Very naughty girls. And we can thank the Penang police for their surveillance for this one. Penang, Malaysia, 25 Thai women arrested for displaying themselves on stage when they're not supposed to be doing that. A police team from the Anti-Vice Gambling and Security Society Division, D7, detained 25 Thai women showing their good bits on stage. Or if you like, exhibitioning themselves on stage at an entertainment centre in Penang, Malaysia. Crime Investigation Department Chief said all the women aged between 20 and 40 were detained at around 11.50pm for reviewing their social visit passes. Yeah. This is considered an offence under Regulation 39B of the Immigration Regulation of 1963. The police have been uh, conducting uh, surveillance operations for a week at these shows and reporting back to their superiors. Now, why would it take you a week to decide they were exhibitioning themselves on stage in Penang? Well, the policemen are actually human, are they? They say, oh, this is really good. Oh, this would take months of surveillance. If I was there, it would have taken a couple of years if I was a policeman in the Malaysian police force. Just sit there and watch. Yeah, anyway, getting back up to the story. Uh, yeah, they, they, what, they, they were there for a week. <laughs> Probably got tired, did they? Yeah, anyway, back on the story. Also arrested were eight Bangladeshi men, two Indonesian men, and one Pakistani man. All aged between 20 and 50 and they were working on the premises apparently. The police also picked up the owner, a man in his 30s, for further investigation. Further checks of the entertainment centre found that the man did not have a valid business licence and also hired foreigners without permission. It was also believed that these workers were offering sex, I mean the female Thai workers. Well it's good that got sorted out by the Malaysian police. I've got to read this out again. Police have been conducting intelligence for a week to monitor the immoral activities reported at the entertainment centre. <laughs> Before the raid last night when the... <laughs> Johnny Siam reporting. Philippines, along the Po City. An Australian man arrested for two fatal shootings. Police said Miss Bailey's husband was shot in the chest in the incident and taken to hospital. Till were Miss Bailey and a Mr. Wilson. The child in the car was unharmed. A Mr. McLaren was arrested some three hours later in his hotel room with a gun and live ammunition. At this stage, appropriate criminal complaints are being prepared for filing in court. Now, there's a bit more to this one than we think, so we'll keep an eye on it. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting, Lao, Wednesday, nine border checkpoints to discontinue visa on arrival services. According to a note by the Prime Minister, Pang Hock bordering China, Nam Soi bordering Vietnam, Nam Can bordering Vietnam, Pu Kiao bordering Vietnam, Nam Pao bordering Vietnam, Nam Huang bordering Thailand, Nam Nguyen, bordering Thailand. And the big one, Savannakit Airport. So, I suppose, a little bit of paperwork's required. Or just fly into the major airport. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting, 
Lao, Tuesday, Chinese embassy offered a warning to Lao police after rounding up and deporting 137 scammers involved in a boiler room type call centre. Chinese officials chartered two Laotian airline planes to repatriate the fraudsters. Chinese have been leaving their mark also in Lao and the locals are not very happy about it. With Chinese graffiti on sacred sites, Lang Prabang. The Laotians are now getting a little bit fed up with the Chinese disrespecting their country and their people. Johnny out. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand. It's a report of one dead, three in a coma after drinking a dangerous concoction of moonshine of a herbal alcohol known as Ya Dong mixed with poisonous toad blood has left one man dead, three hours in a coma and 10 seriously ill in Chomburi province. The incident happened in the sub-district of Samet. The local police notified after a man was found dead at Samet Temple on Monday evening and his death is being blamed on drinking herbal alcohol mixed with the blood of a poisonous toad. A local cement doctor has urged people not to consume any part of an animal that would not normally be eaten. The man who sold the bootleg alcohol from his shop is now on the run. As, as of the consequences, now three people are still in a coma from drinking this nasty moonshine, which they bought from a local store. This is Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand. G'day viewers, it's Adrian, Talkback Thailand aviation reporter. And we're uh, continuing the story with Thai Airways today. You might recall several months ago we uh, covered the poor half year performance, the uh, continuing um, losses the airline, the national carrier Thai Airways is, is incurring and um, accumulating uh, up to a total loss now of 280 billion baht. Well, they realised there was a restructuring of the airline was needed to um, as a way out of the financial problems and the poor share market performance. Now it's been reported that the airline's been given 30 days to revamp its fleet modernisation plans that it had, which um, seems to have been rejected. It was valued at 5.1 billion US dollars for um, procuring 38 new uh, airliners. So. Um, they have to submit a new business plan and expedite fleet adjustments and sell 19 aircraft in a bid to reduce maintenance costs, the report said. Yes, we've uh, heard this before, six years ago at another airline. Well, good luck um, for the employees and staff there at Thai Airways. 